Welcome to the channel. This reading will be for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag, we are going to focus on who do you have a crush on and what does your crush feel about you? We're going to start with Aries. Timestamps will be in the description. If you are new here, hey, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the person on my mind. And right now I want to focus on Aries. I want to know who do you have a crush on? It's just a little crush. And uh, what does that crush feel about you? And if you don't resonate with this reading, check out my playlist. You may have found this because your message is somewhere else. In one of my other videos. Oh, to support what I do here, you can uh, subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much. You can like the video. Leave a comment if you want to um, request specific zodiac signs you'd like to see or a trending person or something. Whatever you'd like to see a reading on. But right now, let's focus on Aries. And see, who does Aries have a crush on? And what does that crush feel about the Aries? Okay. Show me, please. Show me. Who does Aries have a crush? Mm -hmm. I wanted to take it. Uh, show me who Aries has a crush on. I'm just going to take it, but let it fall. Who does Aries have a crush on? Oh, someone you had a fight with. Oh, what's yours? Aries. All right, all right. So there's a five of swords here, an emperor, and the ten of pentacles. I see a page here on the bottom. This could have been about money. It's more Aries energy. This fool is here and this four of pentacles. All right. This is someone that you, um, and I spotted a seven of pentacles. <sighs> Possible earth sign. If not, it could be another Aries. Um, this is someone that you may have had, like I said, a fight with. This is not representing you, Aries, this emperor being here. This person, you may have viewed them as being a bit of um, a bully at times or someone that mature, like in a papa bear kind of way. Someone that you either were trying to build a life with, that you either, you may have already built a life with this person or you were thinking about it. This was someone that you really saw yourself um, jumping off the cliff into a new beginning with and having, like, a stable life. Um, someone that you felt was maybe a little immature with money at times, but the free spirit of their nature may have been something that actually attracted you to them. And this is someone that either you felt held back things, sometimes I feel that from the Four of Pentacles, or it's someone that you felt was maybe a little greedy with their, um, their energy, their time. Um, and this is a person that at times may have brought out a side of you that was aggressive, okay? If this is representing the Aries. Um... What does this person that the Aries has <clears throat> a crush on and wants to peek in on? What does this person feel about Aries? What is this energy feeling about the Aries? Okay, the Empress. So this is a possible Taurus energy. This is the energy that creates. It's all the queens embodied in one. The epitome of what? The feminine energy is like what the mask, what the emperor desires in a feminine is this. Okay, this is this person could feel like Aries is their divine partner. When I see um, like a king and queen of the same suit, you know, certain cards go together as a couple, and this is the counterpart to the emperor that we just saw. 
the wheel, this ace of wands, the page of pentacle again. So the person that Aries has a crush on that we're peeking in on, if you're resonating so far, Aries, feels like you are their divine partner, but that you guys are meant to be together. That ten of pentacles, this person feels that they can have a stable life with you, Aries. This says two things. One, it's the, it, this is the wheel. So this energy, this person feels like, Aries, you are part of their destiny, okay? They could all, this could also, for some, some of you, talk about control. Sometimes I feel that from the wheel. Like, because it represents the wheel of life. We can't control life, but we have to control ourselves, okay? So, sometimes I feel like this talks about one of the people in the connection feeling either like the other's trying to control them or they desire to control things. Maybe it has to do with money. It might have to do with passion. It might have to do with things in the bedroom, I just felt. That's not for everyone. So, um, this energy, though, is definitely feeling a desire to... Or this could also talk about allowing when we, the fool being being there before. The fool is an impulsive energy jumping off the cliff. So this could actually talk about that this energy, and I see this page of wands here too, would desire to be impulsive um, going forward in the feelings. Like not maybe questioning so much like where is this going to go? Um... You know, an ace of wands, again, this is about creation. So this person, whatever sign they are, zodiac-wise, this is a person that is desiring to create with the Aries. This this energy may have even thought about creating a life. Not, like, a, like a baby, okay? If not, it's talking about creating a life together. Um, this is all about the passion. And, you know... This standing out to me a lot, uh, like, as a root. This person maybe wants to root with you. Maybe that's what that Ten of Pentacles was about. It's seeming like the Aries and the crush, that the per this person that you have a crush on, are feeling the same things. Um, this energy is very passion-driven and I think is um, feeling a lot of impulsiveness connected to... I think the only thing that they're worried about, maybe, and Aries, this came out for you, is there might be an impulsive um, nature also to spending for both of you. So this person might want the Aries to take more control. Maybe this is also saying for some of you, this crush desires for the Aries to take more control of where this is going. If you haven't made a move yet, this might be saying, like, make a move. Um, ask this person out on a date. If you are already involved, this would, might be suggesting that this energy, like, wants the Aries to take more control of not just where this, um, of the passionate parts of this relationship and maybe not so much maybe the money but I'm feeling like the ten of pentacles we just saw which is the two people coming together to build a life so I'm feeling like this crush um Aries is kind of like waiting for you to take control of where this is going to go and how serious it's going to become in respect to, like, is it going to, are you going to end up in a Ten of Pentacles connection? You know, the Ten of Pentacles represents the home, the family, the stability that comes with rooting things. Like, this, for a lot of you, could be a very new thing where the seeds have just been planted because I spotted that Seven of Pentacles before, which is all about planting seeds and seeing what we've planted grow into something bigger and greater. All right, that's what I'm seeing there for the Aries.
And we're going to move on to Leo. Okay, Leo. Who do you have a crush on? And what do they feel about you? Let's see who has a crush on the Leos. Show me who has a crush on Leo. Show, oh, show me who Leo has a crush on, sorry. And show me what that person feels about the Leo. Who does Leo have, have a crush on, please? Show me. Who does Leo have a crush on? Page of Cups in reverse, it felt. Okay. All right, Leo, you might resonate with this. If the person that you have a crush on, um, this is, well, either they offered some sort of affection and love in the past and Leo denied this, or vice versa, okay? This could be someone that, or a possible Pisces, um, being the Page of Cups. Let's see what came out on the bottom. Three of Pentacle, Four of Cup, and a Five of Wands. So Leo, this would be someone that you tried to work on things with before. Because that's what I get from this Three of Pentacle. This is sometimes um, representing like people we work with. Um, so this could be someone that you met at work, for some of you. Um, this is someone, and this four of cups being here. So, and there's a five of wands. Sometimes I say this five of wands is like people not hearing us, not working with us. So, this is either someone you worked with, met at work, or we're trying to work on things with. Again, this cup, she's not, she's holding it, but she's not really seeming very interested in this picture. Uh, this is probably someone that you offered some sort of um, affection. You had a connection with, offered love. We're trying to either work with them or wanted to work with this person. Sometimes I also say this might be talking about, like, the person not working with us, we feel. So this could be someone that... You shared some feelings towards, and they didn't return the feelings. All right. That's what I'm feeling so far. So, what does this person feel about the Leo currently? If Leo is resonating so far. What does this person feel about Leo? What is this person feeling about the Leo? Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, Seven of Sword. All right, before I even flip these over, because a few fell there, so this person is feeling some stuff. They could be a possible Pisces when I see the Moon here. If it, they are not, this could be saying that this this person feels like Leo. Um, wasn't offering something stable, okay? The Seven of Swords, if you're new to my readings, it's like my least favorite card. It represents a liar, a sneak, sometimes a thief. It can mean different things. Readers read it different ways, but that's what it, it means to me. And so, uh, this person, unless for some of the Leos, um, this person could have been deceitful from the beginning, misrepresenting their stability because the moon can represent if not a Pisces energy someone that isn't all there sometimes I say okay like kooky um, head in the clouds uh, just in an illusion sometimes not facing reality lying to themselves maybe about reality if this isn't saying this person um, wasn't fully honest about their stability and that could mean their mental health 
physical health, um, just in general, they may have just been in like a fibber, just misrepresenting their energy as a stable person. This could f represent that this is how they viewed the Leo. Mm. For some of you, this could say that this person lied about what they were feeling deep within or unable to fully express what they were feeling. All right, let's see what fell out here because there's a few here. I'll put this there. There's a queen of wands. Oh, these all came out in reverse. All right, eight of a uh, pentacle. The lovers, <clears throat> possible Gemini energy. The sun, possible, well, that's Leo energy. King of Pentacle. Well, a few came out. Um, the Hanged Man. Okay. <sighs> Temperance. I'm feeling a lot of stuff here. Um, Three of Cups. Okay, Leo. Well, Leo, your crush is feeling a lot of things about you. And so, again, I see Gemini energy, Leo energy, more Pisces energy, temp more temperance is Sag energy. So, there's a three of cups here. Um, this could be someone that you met at work and you had a friendship with, okay? That's the first thing I'm feeling. Um, one of you or both of you could have been at the time when you first met or currently like in other connections for some of you not all of you i just get that from this three of cups and the seven here sometimes that's what that's about so <clears throat> this energy they could be a fire sign because we're starting with this queen of wands um if not it's how they you being a fire energy might bring them out, bring that out in this energy. And they could feel like it brings out a darker side of them. I just say that because this moon is here and these all came out in reverse. So this eight of uh, pentacles, again, this has to do with work. Okay, so this is someone that if you didn't meet them at work or you weren't or aren't working on certain things with them, whether that's um, a relationship or otherwise, like things work related. It's this person might feel like it take it would take too much work to have a relationship with the Leo like it, it, repetitive. The Eight of Pentacles is about a repetitive action. Like, we do this thing over and over to perfect it. Um, and in reverse here, this person is, you know, here they're very neatly, you know, coloring in the lines. But here, it's like a tedious act, you know? They just seem aggravated and fed up, I'm feeling. Um, they could have... I'm feeling that they could feel, this person could feel like they put all of their passion towards the Leo and like they worked at this, that they put work t like towards trying to get the interest of the Leo, but it's just like not happening. Like that Leo might see them as being um, too much work. Okay, that's what that Three of Pentacles could have, been about before as well if not you know the other like meeting at work or working on things together in some aspect like it could be that leo feels like this energy is like a lot of work and this person could feel like um they've put work towards like i said with this uh lovers being here and it's in reverse so This person um, might feel like they're sitting around, like, waiting for Leo. 
the sun being here in reverse. Sometimes I feel like this talks about the person having a distorted view of happiness. So, they could feel like Leo's being greedy, okay, with this King of Pentacles in reverse. Like, holding on, not valuing the coins here. Like, what this person has put work into already. Like, not seeing that. Like, Leo, I just felt for some of the Leos, you could feel like this energy is lazy. Um, or too about themselves. Like, that their, their passion is um, unhealthy or something. Or what they're passionate about. I don't know, for some of them, they could have, like, like a fetish... That's just for some people. I don't know. I just felt that. Um, I like like a, a thing that the Leo maybe isn't into or sees as a... Or they might not be sharing with the Leo that they have like some sort of um, fetish that they feel like the Leo would frown upon or something. I don't know. That's just for some people. I just felt it. So I said it. And yeah, this person could feel like Leo left them hanging. Um, in an uncomfortable position. So, like, if um, some of you resonated with the thing of, like, both of you or either of you being in a different connection when you first met or currently, this person could have left their, their connection um, or planned, made plans to leave whatever thing to, like, you know, work on things with the Leo and felt like, no, Leo didn't, Leo didn't keep their end of the bargain or something, lied, was deceitful about, you know, and being that we have the king and queen here, I'm going to say this person actually views or viewed the Leo as their divine partner, as someone that they could have a ten of pentacle with and build a life with. This temperance, um, this energy feels like, this is Sag energy, and this person feels like they wasted their time. Like, they feel like they can't wait anymore, or something, for some of you, that's what I felt. This Three of Cups, so like, either this person, if they didn't leave something else, and now they feel like they were like, they were like waiting for the Leo, to, like, start their new day, to move forward, and, like, to get out of the uncomfortable position they feel that they have been left in. And I think this person feels like they've been waiting. Because this is temperance. This is all. She, like, balances the cups. She's about patience and virtue. But she's in reverse She's pouring sand into her hand, and it just makes me really feel like this person feels that they've, um, especially with this being here too, like wasted time trying to work on something with Leo. This Three of Cups, like the cup is empty. Um, she's just looking out to a desolate, like, field of nothingness, darkness, you know. Um, so this, your crush is feeling... I think a bit betrayed, um, feels like, oh, and underneath that's the star. So this person could have wished for you and deep down they could still be wishing and hoping. This could say, if it doesn't represent what I said earlier, that this person hopes that Leo will come and make things right, um, take them out of their uncomfortable place, out of the... They could feel like they put a lot of work into the... If it isn't time and energy, if it isn't time, it's the energy that they put into, like, how passionate they feel or felt about the Leo. Um, they could be hoping that Leo comes and pulls them out of this dark place. Because I'm feeling this energy is in a dark place, and I think it's because they were sitting around waiting to start, like, some new thing with you, Leo. So if you're resonating, that's what the crush is feeling. You were there. Oh, and under that's the Harrowfin. 
this person may have wished and hoped to marry you or live with you or start some new thing or look to you like someone that was going to lift them up higher that like made them feel like they could accomplish anything. That's what I felt. All right, guys, that's what I'm seeing for the Leo energy. Um, yeah. All right, guys, that's what I see for Leo. Okay, this is now for Sag. Sagittarius, who do you have a crush on? And what does that crush feel about you, Sag? What does this crush feel about Sag? Who does Sag have a crush on? Show us, please. Let's peek through the blinds and see. Who does Sag have a crush on? And what does that crush feel about Sag? Sag, who do you have a crush on? Show me, please. Um, hmm, hmm. Okay, well, Sag, you might resonate with this. If, um, this is the Ten of Swords. So, this is either someone that you feel uh, betrayed you, and you're getting over it, because here the person is melting out of, here they're, like, totally frozen in the feelings they can't get out of it the betrayal they feel but here you know they're coming out of it so this is either someone that you feel betrayed you um possible pisces with this page of cups here okay oh and there's a six of cups under that so this is someone that either you um know for a really long time that you made memories with that you have like nostalgic memories of um grew up in the same neighborhood or if it's not that someone that you felt was your soulmate like when you met them you felt like you knew them forever or in a past life possibly um or you thought about growing old with them okay it's someone that either you feel betrayed you or you did something to them okay and you're hoping they're getting over it or you're getting over it or you want to get over it this king of pentacles, it could be a possible earth energy. If not, it's someone that, like, you felt you could have a stable life with at one time. Or you saw as a stable energy or brought out a part of you that made you feel like, you know, you wanted to maybe settle down. You thought about the future, basically, with this person. Uh, three of wands. This is, like, the person that they're confidently going down their path. So this is someone that made you feel like... Like... Y you knew which way you were going to go with them. You know? If that makes sense. And... You may have verbalized... Some sort of a, a message to them. Like... As far as your feelings. Having to do with this like Six of Cups. What that means. Part of this could have to do with... These feelings were verbalized, whether it was on your side, Sanj, or, you know, the other person's, and, and, mm, this, that could be what this is about, like, mm, someone may have, um, expressed their feelings, of especially having to do with the Six of Cups here, and it may have put the other person at a standstill, like, it may have freaked the other person out, um, take it how it fits, so, let's see what this crush feels about Sag, if you're resonating, Sag. What does uh, this person feel about the Sag? Mm, they could be a little closed off. Let's see. What is this energy feeling about the Sag? The Emperor. A magician, Six of Sword, Four of Wands, this King of Cups. Okay, so this person, they could be a possible Aries energy with this being here, or Gemini, the magician. Um, this person, I might have to clarify this. So... Sag, for some of you, this person could feel like the offer 
wasn't big enough. Um, because this is a, a Knight of Cups. Before we saw the page, which is like, to me, a smaller offer compared to the Knight. Um, and then there's a Knight of Wands under this, and then a Page of Wands. This person could feel like, sad you're a little too impulsive. Um, this energy, like we saw the, the Pentacle energy, like this is the Emperor. So, and then we saw the Page, but here there's a Knight. I have a magician here. This is about manifesting, creating a new beginning specifically. Like having everything we we need on the table before us to create whatever we desire. All right. We have a four of wands here. Okay, this is like about home, a balanced connection. It's about uh, engagement sometimes, a celebration. Okay, like a big celebration. The six here of uh, swords is about sometimes escaping. So what you offered, if you're resonating, you may have offered this person something. Like that page of uh, cups. But this energy, I think, was expecting not a king of pentacles, but an emperor. Um... They were desiring to manifest, they, like a page of cups, they, they're they looking, they want a knight, someone that's moving. They don't want just like a little message, like a text message, like uh, a little pictures, you know, making hearts behind, you know, with clouds behind, and the sunset behind them. They want someone that's going to move, like actually back up what they say. So, I don't know, Sanj, for some of you, you may have like not been backing up what you were saying. Or representing, or or this person wants more than the Saj was willing or able to give, because like they want um this person might want to be engaged, like specifically. I feel when I'm holding this, or or to move in together, and maybe Saj, you know, if he doesn't feel ready for that. Um, or feels like whatever they will offer. Because like this six of swords moving towards this. It's like if they, it's for some of you this person might be ready to like move towards a new beginning. Or manifest things in their like just move towards manifesting things in their own way. Or this could represent an actual Aries. Like. Like, to move on, manifest something with an Aries energy because they're looking for, like, a ring on their finger or a home or to move in together or something. That's what they were expecting, I feel. Um, and that's what that Ten of Swords we just saw before was. Um, that's what I'm feeling here if you're resonating with this, like... And I'm even peeking here, there's this page of cups peeking out here, like, uh, like, yeah, six of pentacles is under this, so, the six of pentacles, like, this is the person that sometimes is, like, with their hands out, like, you know, where's mine, or we're, or it can represent for me in a connection, someone wanting more than the other person's willing to give, so... I'm feeling like that's what this has to do with. Um, if you are resonating and you want this energy, like, that's what they want. They want this. If you were, like, caught between two people or something, they want you to, like, move fully towards and come, like, wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly without any hesitation. You know, no hesitation, you know, full throttle, like, uh, and to manifest and to create a home, specifically. That's what I'm feeling for this uh, reading here. All right, Saj, that's what I see there. Again, guys, if you want to support what I do here, 
you can subscribe, please, if you're not already. Like the video um, if you have requests of specific zodiac signs, zodiac signs, sorry about that, that you would like to see readings on. You can leave it in the comments. Let me know. Um, thanks for being here, and I hope to see you guys next time.